Hello. Obviously, it's just me today because I jumped in front of the camera. Um, my cameraman is having way too much fun in the other room working. <laughs> if you haven't checked out his stream yet, I highly recommend it. But I want to report and I need a poll. I need your guys' help. But first, I want to talk about now or never. Have you ever grown broccoli before? Can you see this broccoli? Do you see these little yellow specks probably from your screen right now? It is a broccoli flower. Did you know broccoli is actually a flower? We just pick it before it blooms. And this right now is either it needs to be picked and eaten or it's going to turn into this beautiful yellow flower. So what it does is each of these little broccoli, each little heads of broccoli actually keep growing up and they have these beautiful yellow, these beautiful yellow flowers. And since we don't have any bees inside, at least I hope not, uh, we were going to eat it. So I wanted to, uh, one, the flowers taste very, very similar to broccoli. And I don't think I'm going to, oh, eh, wait, no, that's, it's fine. <laughs> you can eat them. I ate them before. I haven't died yet. We're good. And you've eaten lots of them. They were just immature. So this, and then I harvested, I harvested a broccoli before the last broccoli head that was about yay big. We harvested it from way down here. And guess what? Here, I'm actually going to grab you and show you a little bit closer. Hello. Um, the broccoli head before we cut off down there and what happened just like plants are absolutely amazing the one next to it just started growing and it produced a broccoli head itself as well as all of its friends so we have like five little different broccoli heads on this from the previous broccoli that we harvested so this guy is going to do the same thing we'll harvest it here this is another little broccoli head and then all these other little tributaries even these down here is broccoli so they start to grow up after you kill the main plant which is kind of cool I didn't know this before um, growing broccoli myself on a tower garden the other thing that needs to be harvested which we'll eat for dinner is my Swiss chard look how big this leaf is this is actually fully indoors this is one of my biggest leaves inside which is super cool Normally, they get really big outside, but inside, this has been my first experience. As well as we also need to harvest this kale. I tried to kill it the other day. Well, I didn't try to kill it, but I harvested as much as possible so we could make this giant salad. And I cut them down till there was just like some little ones left, like they were, say, yay big. And now it's huge. So we've got another one, and I am also going to show you there's a brock, a kale back there. This is celery. It is super happy. We've had to kill some of the other ones. And well, I've had it turn this direction. Check these babies out. So the poll that I want to need, that I need help on is one, I have all these little baby plants. The pole. Okay, if I could turn this around. I need help. I love this thing. I love this being outside. Or I love it being inside because it's like in my house. And I get to like, good night tower garden and see all it. But it was a year ago that I moved into this apartment and we moved it outside. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Do I put the lights out, put the, put the lights away? and put it back outside or keep growing it inside. Hello, thanks for watching. This is my tower garden update. Everything looks super good. I'm super excited about it. And so I need help. Post down below. Should I move it outside or keep growing it inside? I've got my pepper plant still. Look how big, <gasps> look how big my pepper is. It's so cute. But it's so big, that's doubled in size since the last time I looked at it, actually. I've got another one down here. 
Yay! It makes you so happy to actually grow your own food, or it makes me so happy. And a lot of people that I uh, talk to, it makes them really happy too, which is exciting. Anything you can do to kind of have a hand in making your own food is important. So please post below on what I should do. Should I put it outside? I'm going to miss it being inside. Or another option that someone else talked about is getting the indoor version. I could just get another one. I'll put this guy outside and then have another one inside. That's another option. Not sure. I, yeah, it's kind of hard not to have another tower garden though. So should I move it outside? Should I do both and have one outside and inside? Or should I keep this one inside? Either way, I hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you for checking out my tower garden. And have you eaten flowers yet today? I just ate one. It was a broccoli. <laughs> have a, an amazing day. Again, this is Nikki Galu. Feel your body. Eat more plants. See you next time.